Okay, well, after trying quite a few things, finally got it to work. Uh, the What ended up being the main issue was the, the Fock Box that I have in here. The Unity app that I downloaded for my Android, uh, it just wouldn't work. I couldn't get it to, to update the controller. Um, it wouldn't, wouldn't save the, uh, the, the, the settings that I would try to put on it. Uh, it wouldn't recognize, uh, the hall sensors. It just, just wouldn't do anything. So after I, I recently saw somebody's post that, uh, the VESC tool, there was, a an option for HFI, uh, instead of, if you wanted to try using, uh, instead of censored or censorless, HFI um, made all the difference, and it was the VESC 2.0 tool. So, so I went and found it, downloaded it, um, connected it via Bluetooth, and it recognized everything. I mean, it it went through the the the, the tool to test the motors. It recognized the voltage, the battery. I mean, it recognized everything. I was crazy impressed. And one of the tires was running backwards, and so I just, there was the option to toggle it, to, to reverse it. I did that, and I was done. And it ran the, uh, uh, where is it? The, uh, the uh, tool, the... The remote, uh, well, I don't know what's that right now, but the remote um, worked fine. You just barely pulling on the the trigger, just slowly ramped up the speed. Uh, I built a, I created a profile that um, set the velocity to twenty five percent and the uh, the maximum speed to I guess twenty five miles an hour. I just wanted to you know, try this thing out. And sure enough, it, it, uh, it stayed, it stayed within that profile. So, uh, once I get a little bit more confident, I'll, uh, just build a new profile to, to, uh, to give me a little bit more speed. But yeah, the, uh, the Ego battery is what I'm using, using, and I just have the flat adapter that I got online on eBay, and I just plug that in, and uh, turn on turn on the controller on the bottom, and it's ready to go. Uh, it's been it was it was what I was hoping to do with it. Um, there might be enough clearance to put eh, maybe not. I was thinking about maybe this is the this is the 2.5 amp. I was thinking maybe I could fit that underneath here, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it on top. But uh, I'm gonna take it out. Um, have my son play with it, uh, try it out. I'll use the, the larger 7.5 amp. Um, the, the 2.5 amp pulls, or yeah, the 2.5 amp hour, uh, is a 20, pulls 20 amps. The 5 amp hour discharges at 40 amps and the 7.5 amp hour discharges at uh, 60 amps so plenty of power the the controller um, can definitely handle that um, I have the the 6354 yeah 6354 140 KV from Flipsky Flipsky whatever uh, on here and the eight inch wheels inflatable so it's been great it's been a fun project um, I estimate with that battery that battery costs about 150 maybe a hundred dollars used so total this project cost me around a thousand um, maybe a little over a thousand dollars so it's been fun. The next uh, project I'm going to be working on um, is this one wheel. 
and I got it not working uh, because of some battery issues, but I have all the, the wiring uh, and there's a, a new control board out there for one wheel clones. So I'm going to, I'm going to be working on, working on that one next. I also have this piece, this project that I want to use. I want to use a traditional flat pack battery pack uh, and put on some cloud wheels. I think that's what I'll do next. That should be fun. All right, enjoy some footage of this project running. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. The reason I was doing these projects um, is because I have all these Ego batteries and uh, I have this, I, I created a, a solar array so I can just charge all these batteries uh, with my solar array and it's uh, free power. That's pretty fun. Um, my other project that I finished, I'll be making another video of, is um, my e-bike that I built. So stay tuned for that.